everybody and welcome to um, a few examples on how to write paragraph proofs. Um, paragraph proofs are not very popular in geometry. Uh, normally they're given in a two column proof where in one column you stay have the statements and the other you have the reasons. But paragraph proofs are more of a verbal and literal way to uh, justify why something is true. So um, I'm going to talk you through these three answers here. Instead of writing out the paragraph, I'm just going to speak it and you hopefully can hear the justification. For number one, we're given that some angle A is uh, congruent to angle D, and angle D is congruent to E. Write a paragraph proof to show that angle A is congruent to angle E. Since angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle D is congruent to angle E, then the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle D, and the measure of angle D is equal to the measure of angle E. Then that is from the definition of congruence. So, the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle E by the transitive property, and angle A is congruent to angle E by the definition of congruence. So that, that paragraph I just read off justifies number one. Let's look at number two. It is given that BC, the segment here, is congruent to EF. M is the midpoint of BC, and N is the midpoint of EF. Write a paragraph proof to show that BM equals EN. Okay, so let's listen to this paragraph. M is the midpoint of BC and, and N is the midpoint of EF. So that means BM is exactly one half of BC and EN is exactly one half of EF. Segment BC is congruent to EF, so the measure of BC is equal to the measure of EF by the definition, uh, definition of congruence. And one half of BC would also equal one half of EF if we apply the multiplication property. Finally, the BM is equal to EN by the transitive property. So that justifies why the segment BM is congruent to EN. Let's look at our last one, number three. Given that S is the midpoint of segment QP, T is the midpoint of segment PR, and P is the midpoint of ST, write a paragraph proof to show that QS equals TR. Well, P is the midpoint of QR. So that means QP is equal to PR. One half of QP would equal one half of PR by the multiplication property. S and T are midpoints of segment QP and segment PR respectively. So QS then would be equal to one half QP and TR would equal one half PR. Then TR is equal to one half QP by substitution and QS is equal to TR by the transitive property. So yeah, feel free to go over this again, rewind it, and write down the paragraph as you hear it so you can see the justification and see how each part um, justifies another part of the proof.